On today's show, I hook up with two anglers who've been exploring the lakes around the end of the road. What we find is a surplus of action in the form of many different fish species. Stick around for some awesome angling, whether you're into walleye, pike, trout, or monster whitefish. Hey, I've been fishing in Ontario for well over 40 years and have some great fishing memories, not to mention some very close friends. Ontario has some of the best multi-species freshwater fishing in the world. Ontario has a special place in my heart. The Ontario Experience captures all of this and more as hosts Troy Linder and Ty Shadeen explore new places, meet some authentic characters, and experience world-class fishing and hunting along the way. The Ontario Experience is the next best thing to going on the adventure yourself, and who knows, this unique show just might give you some ideas for your next fishing or hunting trip. We just finished a 14 hour drive from Brainerd up here to Pickle Lake. You can see they're loading up one of the planes behind me here at Pickle Lake Airways. We're headed to Trout Fly Lake Outpost via Birch Bark Lodge. It's gonna be an awesome adventure here. We're at the end of the road up here, literally. We're just gonna head 60 miles easy here to an outpost cabin in the remote Ontario wilderness. When I found out this was for sale, I actually started doing some research online and I wanted to find out a little more history on it myself and, and what all it entailed. And just so happens that I found Randy online and Randy had been coming up here for a long time. So we got together and talked and he was a, a treasure trove of, him, of information about the lake. And uh, after, after we had our conversations and I finished that, we decided to, to uh, purchase it and, and move on from there. And this, is, we've, and this is where we've gotten to this point now. I uh, first uh, started coming up to this uh, outpost with my dad back, my first trip was in 1975. Uh, I'm from a community in southern Indiana where the trip kind of became a tradition with uh, a lot of members of our community. Uh, there was a, an individual in our community that wanted to experience the uh, Canadian outpost fishing experience and uh, he brought a group up and it, it kind of expanded within our community. And uh, I got to go. It was kind of a, 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 a rule that you, you weren't allowed to come up until you were 12 years old. So I came up my first year in 1975 when I was 12 years old. And I've probably made this trip uh, close to 40 times since then. That's rare. First pull of the season and it fired over, no problem. It's good. I think it's a good sign for the days ahead. Oh, oh there, there, got one. <laughs> so I had a had a 14 hour drive, ran a 22 hour drive, and you can't really tell by the light, but it's Nine time is about nine thirty maybe. Nine thirty, yeah. You can, nine thirty. We're still fishing. We fished up here till eleven o'clock, eleven thirty. Yeah. I mean that's the beauty up here in Sunset Country, and you know the, the summertime here, you're fishing till ten o'clock with light. Ooh, walleye, nice walleye. walleye, nice walleye. There we go. That's nice. it. Nice. That's beautiful. Typical lake. Trout fly lake walleye right there. Yeah. Just on a little shad wrap. They're just really easy. Just cast out and troll. Pretty fish. Good way to end the day. Of course, we still have time for another one. <laughs> this segment is brought to you by Tourism Northern Ontario. It's tough to beat a sunset country wake-up call, especially accompanied with fishing buddies like Randy and Mike. A typical morning starts with pancakes, strong steaming coffee, sizzling sausage, and discussion of where, when, and what we'll fish for on trout fly. Pretty hard to go wrong on a lake like this.
what we'll do is we'll go down and troll down there along those uh, islands down there and see what we can pick up and we'll head down to the okay. reefs down on the south end. Okay. It didn't take even two minutes before Randy hooked into his first fish. Yeah, we just got up on this nice one. We just got up on this reef. I'm standing up on the seat here. You can see this is a really big, there, big piece. And I, we got a double header. I got, a, I got a pike. Your pike's a little bit bigger. Yeah. And so we, oh, just got, that. we just got up on here and we've been fishing for about two minutes. Back to his first cast there, got bit, and I got, I got this one. And I went for the, started throwing the swim bait. I kind of went big with this. Good start. Not bad. I got a nice. little cross arm hold here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice, healthy. Yeah. Double header. Good way to start <laughs> in the, start the spot. Get him unhooked. Get him back in the water. There, there we go, take off, there he goes. Oop, there's one. Yeah. Uh, yep, it's got the white fish head bob. Change the color on my lure. Feel some drag peeling action. We just had a couple that came up over here on the surface, so I'm, oh. I threw it. I threw it. I said I, I threw up for him. So you pop one. Yeah, where, where you, you noticed a couple that came up surfacing, and so I just cast forward there. And we got a double header. <laughs> yeah, there. Ooh, get a size. Yeah, these there are. We go. I mean, these are. This is the size of these fish. I mean, if you're just you're catching, <laughs> you catch a fish this big. I mean, this is fun. Now what we want is that lake trout that's up here yeah. feeding on the white fish. Yeah, we need, that's the one thing. I wonder if this is, where, where they like this? It's like a smallmouth, they go in the shade of the boat like that. They tuck underneath there. While Sunset Country is a playground of multi-species fishing opportunities, not every lake packs at all. Trout fly is one of these special lakes with lots of good-sized walleye, pike, whitefish, lake trout, and even portage brook trout, as we'll see later. There. Yep, like that. Oh, it's a nice, oh, nice it's walleye. A nice walleye. Look at that. Woo, that? told you there. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I thought it was just out of view. I thought you saw that. Well, I you saw that, quite, that, that yeah, white tip. Yeah, I saw a little white in the dark, and oh, he just choked it. It could have been a, another big walleye that, nice. well, I don't mind a walleye. In fact, I kind of prefer that. Head shake, head shake. Hey, he's just choked that swim bait. Come here. Oh yeah, nice walleye. Look at that. Beautiful. That walleye. That is a, that, that's a, that is a nice. Typical trout fly walleye right trout there. Fly. Yeah, nice thing with the swim bait here is just a little easy pop like that. Oops. And there. Just like that. That one, nice. Look Beautiful. Ontario Sunset Country Walleye. Look at that. Yeah, that's one thing that uh, we've always liked about this lake is it's unique in that uh, you know you can catch basically uh, five species of fish up here. Um, you know we'll get into some brook trout before the trip's over but you know lake trout, northern, uh, you know you've seen the big white fish, walleye, um, you know a lot of lakes are basically northern walleye lakes. This one is a 
it's a healthy multi multiple species lake. That's what we really like about it. You, you can you can go out and you can fish for um, you know four different species, and uh, and every time you're doing that, there's always a chance you catch one of the ones you're not fishing for, which is which is always fun. It's never boring. We're always finding new places to fish up here too. And I've been coming here over 30 years and still finding new places to find fish. This segment is brought to you by Go Fish Ontario Canada. There. That's where I'm guessing this is going to be a walleye. Walleye. It's feeling walleye ish. Yep. Good one. Nice one. Yeah. <clears throat> when you can switch gears from walleye to pike. And all the walleye here, all the walleye here are really healthy. This one just hit a little bucktail jig right in the the top, nice colors on them. This is prob. This is actually smaller than the ones we've been getting. All the other ones are a little bit bigger, and just pop jigging this little bucktail jig and a the little fluke trailer on it. So all I'm doing is throwing it out like that. We got a nice little walleye chop here. We just throw it out and just let it pop. Pop it off the bottom. They really like that that erratic kind of action where it comes up and down and they'll chase it and you just pop it like that and they'll hit it usually on the slack line so you're watching your braid and you'll see it pop so the jig will drop down and they'll hit that for you know walleyes just love that they love that action and like that right One little, barely hooked. Nice walleye. Easy release. There, he got it. No, another one's on it. Got this, it? This is the one that was trailing me. It's a good one. Yeah? I'm out here messing with the walleye and you're in the... Get a slow pull as he's coming up, coming up to jump the surface. Ooh, yeah, good one. That's a good one. Oh. The Sabra is singing. Yeah. <laughs> so got, got a lot of sentimental value. I fished with this uh, setup back when I first fished here when I was 12 years old. You can see it's been to, been through the wars, but uh, it always performs. see this boat and he's gonna say oh, I don't want to be up here uh, he's a nice thick one Ooh. we can probably get that off without bringing him in the boat I'm just gonna let him go out here, right here There you go. Yeah. Come back and get you in about five years when you're 25 pounds. Yeah, I think uh, that's a pretty darn good way to, to end this day. No lake trout, but a, pike, but a pike like that <laughs> definitely makes it worthwhile.
flake are most typically the hybrid of which two different species and gender of those species? Female brook trout and male lake trout? Male brook trout and female lake trout? Female brook trout and male rainbow trout? Male brook trout and female rainbow trout? Hey, we'll give you a moment to think it over and have the answer when we come back. Splake are a hybrid of B, male brook trout and female lake trout, and have been used to describe hybrids back into the 1880s. Also known as char and wendigo, the most successful splake reproduction happens in the hatchery environment, although some natural reproduction occurs in selected waters throughout Ontario. Hybrids of the male lake trout with the female brook trout, also known as brookinaw, have been produced, but are not as successful. All right, we're just about to pull up to a, a little portage here for a little back lake that has some brookies in there. That's right. What's nice about it is we can actually uh, get in there with our boat. It's gonna take, got, got to get it over a beaver dam, but it's all part of the adventure. It's well worth it. Nice. Yep, yep, there. There you go. Got him. <laughs> he was sitting up on, saying if they were up on the sand here, you'd be able to see him really good. Sure enough. Give him that nice high. Oh, look at the colors on this one. Ooh, look at that off there. Look at this. The colors on these brook trout, they look painted. Honestly, look at that. They look absolutely painted. I'm going to get this thing back in the water right away. That is fun, especially you see this is the whole lake behind me. This is it. We pulled over the, the uh, beaver dam back there, and this is it. This is, this is where they all live. And he said, you've had days up to 50, up to 50 brook trout in here. That's incredible. There, uh, we've caught some in here, you know, two, three pounds as well wow. over the years. Oop, there we go. There, OK. Yeah. <laughs> You're fight. right. They like those spinners. Yeah. <laughs> Not quite the size as the one you had. But Still pretty. Whoa, look at the colors pretty. on that. Oh. Slow down there, buddy. Look at that. Got yeah, him. that's. I think that's the one that. I think that's the one that hit me up there like twice. It, it is quite awesome when they, you know, they come up and they'll hit. They hit this twice, and it's fun on light tackle like this. It really doesn't take. It doesn't take much. It looks painted. Look at the blues, the reds, the whites, and the fins. They're little works of art. Pretty good. Ooh, uh oh, he's, uh oh, he's running. Is he gonna make a run? I don't know if I can. I don't know if I got the equipment to handle this one. This, it is nice. This is the same, you know, pretty much the same, the same setup you have for walleyes here. And, and oh, easy release. Same setup you have for walleyes. This basically the same jig without the, um, without the little boot tail of the fluke, but just this little. Uh, VMC marabou jig and or, hair, or uh, bucktail jig rather, and and you just do it like that. You just kind of cast it out and shake it, shake it up and down for the for the pop it up and down for the walleye in here. Just kind of a cast and reel. So what? It, pretty simple. Nothing, nothing, nothing too fancy.
Look at that. Look at that Emerald Lake beauty. Wow. And here we go. And you're back. There. Oh. We're just on our way back to where we came in in the portage here. Let's see if we can get one more, and sure enough, we did. This was definitely a very fun little portage bite for beautiful Ontario brook trout. Just making a few more casts before we fly out of here at Trout Fly Outpost. And just what an amazing place and, and to get to fish with Randy and hear the stories over the over the decades, you know, that he's had fishing here is just incredible. And finally, you know, I got to fish uh, today just for a little bit with the brains of the entire operation. Anything you'd like to add? Well said, well said.